वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम यू ऑल टू दीडी लेक्चर ऑन वेब टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कवर टुडे पीएचडी वैलिडेशन एज वेल एज क्रिएटिंग ए फॉर्म ऑफ पी एच डी सो ना लेट अस सी हाउ डू वी राइट ए प्रोग्राम इन पी एच डी एंड हाउ डू we deploy it in the jam server okay for deploying in the jam server i let us see a video a lecture on this thing i am giving a demonstration now we just type it here jam x a m p b then you go to the jam control You can see it here. Apache server and MySQL. Of course, we are not using MySQL here in this video lecture. So we have to see that here it starts. Okay. Initially it will be stop position. Uh, then we click it start. It is already running. You can see the port number it is assigned eight zero. So here it is also showing that it is running. Okay. Apache is already running. My SQL is also already running. Apache is running in the port number eight zero, and my SQL is running with the port number three three zero six. Okay. So with this, we are confirmed that that Jam server is running. It's clear. Now, we let us go to the C drive where this Jam server is there. This is the C drive, and here, if you check. The Jam folder is also available here. Double click the Jam. Then you check the HT Docs. Okay. So we locate it here. HT Docs. Inside the HT Docs, I have created a folder that is form dot psv. That is form dot psv. My purpose is that in this form, I am creating a form using HTML and PHP, and I am going to validate using the PHP. Okay. So now you can right click here and you can also open with the Sublime. Already I have done it. It is available here. Okay. Now let us check this program. I have given this program name. Uh, the name I have given it here. I think program one uh, one dot psp. The program name I have given one. One dot psp program one dot psp. What's the name I have given that I don't remember. We'll check it there now. Now let us see. As you know that this psp program will be embedded inside the HTML, but we fix it with the uh, file name uh, dot psp. Okay. So in this psp, it starts a uh, just like a normal HTML program. So less than exclamatory doc type HTML. Then we start the tag HTML. Inside the HTML, we put the head. And because I am going to use some cascading style sheet, I am using style inside the head here, the tag style. And I am creating a class dot error. And the color I have put it is red. Okay, that is has uh, double F triple J uh, four zeros. Is clear? Now I created the style sheet inside this head. This is embedded. And I close this style here. Then it was inside the head section, and I am closing the head that starts the body. Inside the body, now I am going to start the PHP program. You know, for starting a PHP program, we use the PHP tag less than question mark PHP. Okay. Initially, if you see the first line, it is just like a comment. Define variable and set to empty values. So here, the second line you can see, I have the variable like name. The email, gender, comment, and website. Okay, this I declare dollar name, which is equal to dollar email, which is equal to dollar gender, which is equal to dollar comment, and which is equal to dollar website. And I initialize to blank. It is empty values. Okay. Similarly, when I am going for this validations, suppose the field is empty, it should show some error. So I define this error 
in the name field it is name error in the email field it is email error with the gender field it is gender error and it is the web uh, site or the um, website error okay so all the things i declare and which is equal to again black and i initialize all the things to black okay so now let us see the actual program first we are writing all this condition to validate that one and finally we'll go for running the html program okay now let us uh, explain you what is the html program what we are going to run then i'll go for the validation part if you check it here the php program uh, completes here if you know question bar php is ended here just after this it starts the html program so you know some header files are there h1 h2 here under h2 i am using php form validation so this is the heading it will be there then i i use for this particular span for the particular line uh, the class is got error if you remember in the class error what you have given whatever the error message it will display in the red and uh, it is showing uh, a required field just put the asterisk star uh, required field that means if you are not putting any value there then it will ask you required value field or required field okay so this is the span so where it is appearing it is appearing next to php form validations now i am creating a form for this you see here form for creating a form the tag we use in html that is form here method is equal to post action is equal to you see there are two type two type of things here i am planning to display all the things on the web page here itself but if you want to redirect or navigate to another page then action is equal to where the path where it has to go somewhere something like welcome.php that path you have to put it here okay but here what i have done action is equal to then i am writing another php file question php echo uh, html special characters uh, when it is dollar underscore server and it is the uh, php underscore cell okay that the meaning is that now whatever the things the input i am giving same thing is to be displayed here okay then i am putting it here the name colon here it will take one field input field that is input type is equal to text name is equal to name the value is equal to here because it has to the php has to accept the value from the for so i am putting the value is equal to uh, question mark less than uh, less than question mark psv echo uh, dollar name okay that means it will print uh, what is the uh, name you are giving the input in the field it is that same thing it will come here now again the span uh, the because it is only applicable for that particular line here the class is equal to error and question mark psv echo Uh, dollar name error in the span so so dollar name error as you know there can be different type of error suppose the name is blank it will show one type of error suppose instead of name we are putting 1 2 3 4 5 6 some special character it may show some error also that is the purpose the name error it will appear okay that will define what are the errors in the validation part okay now i am putting a line break to line break br br then i am going for the email first i put it the name then i am putting the email the email input type is equal to text name is equal to email value is equal to like that uh, less than php echo dollar email that means what is the email field what the data you are entering the same thing it should come here and here i am putting a span class is equal to error the same class error dot error what i have defined previously and it is a Uh, it is uh, it is showing PHP echo email error. Suppose uh, we are not following a proper format for the email, or that email field is vacant, it is empty. So in that case, it has to show error, and it will be attached to the same line. It's clear. Then I am putting PR PR. That is two line break. I am putting it there. Then I am going for the website. It is the same thing. Then we are going for the comment. It is the same thing. Then coming to the gender also. If you minutely observe it here. we are using input type is equal to radio because these are the radio buttons name is equal to gender because all this male female and others coming under this name gender so all three cases i am putting the uh, name is equal to gender name is equal to gender name is equal to gender and here php if is set 
dollar gender and then dollar gender which is equal to female suppose we are selecting it is female then it will display echo checked it will check it and the value it will show it as female like that it can show male like that it can show others or sometimes you will write it neutral gender or neutral gender whatever things are there then we are going for a button class uh, okay here also if you are not selecting anything then it may say some error or if you are trying to select more than one anyway it will in the radio button it will not allow more than one but if you are keeping blank not selecting anything then it will show some error to you break break i am taking two line breaks here then you can put type is go to submit in the submit button name is go to submit and value is go to submit this submit it will appear on the button itself okay so with this we close the form okay then one more php program you are writing with the heading your input what the input you have given same input it can uh, show you so what it will show suppose in the name error in the in the name field i have given name is equal to jena suppose the email id i have given g underscore jena this same thing it has to display here okay so this is the thing uh, we have created some html pages we have created some php pages now let us go for the validations okay so in this validation if you check it here uh, it is starting just here so i told you that uh, if dollar server because we are uh, inserting some data to the form in the client set and submitting to the server so if dollar underscore server the request method is equal to post because we can use either get method or post method and i think it is beyond the scope to discuss here what is post and get but most frequently we will be using the post method so if i am using the most method is equal to post then if it is empty dollar post name then some name error the name is required suppose you are not entering any data there in the name field will show you an error and name is required so it is assigned the variable name error variable and this name error variable it is coming under the error class which will be displayed in the red color okay else if the dollar name the variable name it is taking the test input dollar post name uh, then then check if name only contains letters and uh, some uh, spaces or white spaces whatever you say okay for this what we need to do we can check if this not preg match underscore match if it is not matching if something like if it is a to z lower case a to z capital uh, upper case so these are the things if it is there exactly this a slash and this no this sign it clearly indicates that if it is exactly matching this thing then it is okay if it is not matching then it will show the name error only letters and white spaces are allowed is clear so then if empty dollar post email so email error so email is required if it is blank other cases test input dollar post email here also check if email is in a proper uh, format is your alpha format so if not filter variable email uh, it will filter like this filter validated email there is a format for the email for example like something at the end something dot uh, com or dot something like that for example uh, gjana at the rate ready mail dot com so if it is in this format it will say it is valid otherwise it will say the invalid email format like that if i am going for now uh, the next one uh, most probably that is related to the website so if empty dollar underscore post website dollar website if it is coming blank like this else the website is going to test input dollar underscore post website then in that case uh, there is a format for creating the website for example it should be www dot something or it should be http a colon slash slash something or it should be https colon slash slash something if it is not in this format if not preg match if doesn't match all the things then uh, it will show some website error that is a invalid url similarly you can go for the comment if it is empty it will show something if it is uh, something else then it should show the uh, what is the comment you have given it there similarly i am going for this gender in the gender if you see if gender uh, if empty and dollar underscore post gender then in that case that will show gender error so gender is required here else 
gender is equal to test input well underscore gender so what the test input you are given you can show that then we define a function uh, in this functions we put the uh, the variable the data function test input that is the dollar dollar data so dollar data trim dollar data so dollar data which is equal to strip slashes dollar data and dollar data which is equal to uh, html special characters dollar data and the return data so this is all about uh, the validation and verifications uh, you try to remember all things even if it is a, a PSP program what we do we write it or we embed it in an HTML program in the HTML program we are trying to uh, declare some variables and we are trying to declare some variables like the errors and all things then we initialize to empty blank no data will be available there then I go for the validation check so two type of things are there first if it is blank or if it is not uh, carrying the relevant characters and all the letters uh, or it is not in the proper format it will show some error and these errors it will show in the reading as per the error class we defined in the cascading style ship then we are coming to create the html form html form is the pure html form but the only thing is that when you are coming to the field value is equal to something then again you are writing small small PHP program to accept the data from the field okay so with this our PHP program is completed here and finally I wanted to uh, display all this value here for that I have taken uh, echo uh, your input are like this echo dollar name echo dollar email echo dollar website echo dollar comment you know dollar gender all things are there okay so with this I think your uh, things are ready now if you come here uh, I have given here uh, the the, the, the it is showing PSV for validation example in the span uh, we have given the required field it is in the color of red also okay so now the name I have given Kunamani Jana so it has accepted because it will not accept blank similarly email I have given g underscore jana at the red .com. suppose instead of Kunamani Jana I write 1 2 3 4 it will show some error name should be only characters and empty spaces so gmail id is email id suppose instead of a dot com I remove the dot and I put the g underscore in ready email com so it will show uh, it is not a valid email id so now the website instead of www I just write pbcg.org without http https or www it will show it is not a valid website some comments also it is showing like this gender I have selected mail if you don't select anything it will not be not show so when I submitted this button you are getting this output I hope uh, you have understood here what we tried we tried to create a form using PHP and HTML and we try to validate that one so two type of outcome it is possible one is that using this validation I can get all the input what I have given there in this form otherwise I can navigate or redirect to another page this is all about and it is very important and it is one of the assignment for you all uh, I hope you have understood if you have any query you do drop a mail in my email id g underscore generalifield.com what is given it here otherwise you write a comment in my blog uh, i'll be ready to answer your questions or queries uh, with this i wish all the best and uh, all the best for your mid exams as well as the university exam thank you for watching this video and i'll be welcome some of the comments from your side thank you thank you all.